Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, we're gonna make a really simple broccoli curry. Vegetarian, vegan, healthy. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients we're gonna be using today. So I've got my broccoli there, but I've actually got it in two parts because I've got all the lovely tops there. And then here I've got the stalks. Now I like to use the stalks, they're full of loads of goodness. Don't throw them away, they're gonna go straight in, they're gonna be delicious. Tomatoes, at the back here I've got some whole seeds, I've got cumin seeds, two or three pieces of green cardamom, and a little bit of cinnamon. There are our powders, always I call them the big four, equal parts of chili powder, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. Here I've got some fresh curry leaves, if you can get them, absolutely wonderful. Garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of chopped garlic and ginger cilantro or coriander, onions, I've got mine cut really small, and then I've got some fresh chilies. I'm gonna put mine in whole. What I've done is I've just put a little cut in them so they release the flavor. If you want, you could chop them. We're gonna start this off with a touch of oil, and of course, we're gonna be adding a little bit of salt. Okay, so I'm using a large wok. You need some sort of pan or something. I've got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could be using something different if you want. Let's just drop in those whole seeds, whole gown masala. Like I say, a little bit of cinnamon. Then I'm gonna go cumin seeds, a little bit of green cardamom. And all we wanna do for a few seconds is let them do their thing in that oil. They're gonna infuse that oil, give it a fantastic, fantastic flavor. Then what we're gonna do is drop in our curry leaves. Like I say, if you can get those, they really are wonderful. They're usually quite noisy. Let's see how they get on. So in they go. And then to that, we're gonna add our onion. Our garlic ginger. And at this stage, I'm gonna add in my stalks. Those broccoli stalks. Let's throw this around in the pan for like three to four minutes. Lovely, really good. Okay, next up, we're gonna put in our fresh tomatoes. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to taste. We're then gonna add in our powders. Let's take a look at those again. Chili, turmeric, coriander, cumin, equal parts of, in that goes. If you wanted, you could just be using a curry powder that you have, and then there's my chili, like I say, I've just cut that, just sort of split them open there, as you can see. What we're gonna do now is cook this for about five to six minutes. What we're looking for here is our tomatoes to break down and hopefully create a nice masala for us. Try and use a nice ripe tomato. If we don't get enough moisture out, we're gonna add some water. Let's see. See you in about five or six minutes. And there you go, look at that, fantastic. Got loads of moisture from my tomatoes. And they're still gonna break down a little bit more. Like I say, if you didn't, you could add a little touch more water. Next up, we're gonna put in our broccoli, our broccoli tops. Now I've cut mine fairly chunky. Let me just throw this around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little splash of water to my one now, not too much. I don't want it sort of swimming in a masala. Wonderful. Now what we need to do is cook our broccoli. Well, I'm gonna cook mine for about just sort of five minutes. I like a little crunch on mine. You can cook it to how you want. So five minutes. So I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the heat up. Give it a stir a couple of times. We're pretty much done. Fantastic. Like I said, got a nice sort of crunch still on my broccoli. And we've got a little bit more moisture out of those tomatoes, as you can see. Check that for salt. I'm now going to add a little pinch or two of 
garam masala powder, nice little finishing spice. We're going to throw in that cilantro or coriander. Fresh mint also works really well with this. Off goes the heat, give that a little mix in. And there you go, you've got a really lovely, clean, beautiful broccoli curry. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon. Please click that bell icon below. Lots of love.